What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are gonna take a look at the awesome Fractal FM9, and we're gonna talk about layouts. I'm gonna show you how to import and use custom layout files, and give you a walkthrough of how I use my custom layout file with my presets. So grab a coffee, take a seat, and let's dive in. Before we dive in, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and if you're new here, consider subscribing. This video is not gonna be an audio demo of my presets, we're mainly gonna focus on layouts. If you wanna hear an audio demo and walkthrough of these presets, check out this video right here for the FM3, FM9, and Axe effects. My FM9 preset we're about to look at is identical in effects and features to my Axe FX3 preset. However, it took a lot of work to get my Axe FX version ported over correctly and laid out in the right way on the FM9. So if you have an FM9, be sure to download the FM9 version, and if you have an AxeFX, download the AxeFX version. So let's dive into the FM9. I'm gonna show you how to import my presets and IRs, as well as the custom layout file, and we're gonna do a walkthrough of how it's laid out so you can take full advantage of everything that's built into this preset, so let's go. All right, so we have the FM9 all hooked up here, ready to go, and right here we have our FM9 edit window, along with a finder window with the download. So first things first, we'll walk through how to import the presets and IRs. Make sure that your FM9 firmware and the FM9 edit software are up to date. So if you look up here to the finder window, you can see here is the layout file, which we'll get to in a second. The impulse responses, uh, cab one going to AC30, and that's the greenback, and cab two goes to the double verb, which is uh, my G10V ProSonic speaker. And the presets included, uh, there's eight of them, uh, four in a humbucker version and four in a single coil version, and then some readmes there. Uh, but in order to import these presets into your FM9, you're gonna wanna go to presets, uh, hit manage, and then from there, you can go up to presets and just drag and drop all of these, and then hit save, and that will import all of the presets. And then after you import those, you're gonna to go to the cab block on each preset and import the IRs. So you're gonna select cab one uh, and go to the IR picker, hit manage, go to the impulse responses for cab one, which is the AC30, drag and drop it, hit save again, and then go to the picker for cab two and repeat that process and uh, import cab two, load it into the preset, and then just save the preset when you're done and it will always recall uh, those IRs. So pretty simple to set up the presets. Now let's go talk about the layouts. So you're gonna go over here to FC Edit and then here is where we have all our layout information. So if you hit this little tab right here, you can see currently what your global uh, layouts are for your FM9. And this is currently loaded up with the OFM9G layout. Uh, there's two layouts that come with the FM9. Uh, one's a default one and one is that OFM9G layout. Uh, and you can see those right here. So taking a look at the preset in the default OFM9G layout, you have all the presets right here. You have scenes right here in two banks. So you have scenes one through four, you hit more, and then you have five through eight. So the only uh, caveat there is you have to page uh, to get all of your scenes, but all of them are accessible right there. And then if you wanna go to the effects, this is just kind of the default fractal effects layout. So it's not really uh, matched up to what I have in my preset. If you want to go to what I have in my preset, you would hit the heel toe function, then go to the per preset, which uh, is layout seven uh, in the default layout. And there you can see some more of my effects in this preset. So you have the drive options, uh, some effects here. And then if you wanna find the rest of the effects, you heel toe again, go to layout eight, and you see these four changed right here. So it's not ideal. Uh, you definitely wanna use the custom layout file. So let's talk about how to import a custom layout file. We'll go back home to the home page. Now, if you've made any adjustments to layouts and if you've customized any, you want to make sure uh, to back up all of your layouts. So you go over here to edit and then you're going to export all layouts 
or if you've made individual ones, you want to export those. But exporting all will export one through eight. So you definitely want to do that if you've customized because importing a new layout will override all of your layouts for all your presets. So definitely back up anything custom you've done. Before we import my default layout, let's talk about how to restore the factory default layouts. So let's get rid of these windows real quick. You're going to go home and hit setup. And then you're going to hit the top option, which is FC controllers. And then you're going to page over, if uh, it, it's not already, to the reset tab. And then as you see, uh, the options are load factory default layout and settings, or you can load the OFMG9 foot switch layout. So you have either one of those layouts. Man, that's a mouthful to say. Um, so you have two options there for default layout. So if you ever want to revert to those, that's all you got to do. All right, so now let's import my custom layout for these presets. So again, you're going to go to FC edit, go to edit, and then import all layouts. And then it will tell you that it's going to override all nine layouts and you say yes. Uh, you're going to navigate to the layout file and open it. And as you can see, it's loading it in. All right, so we've got our custom layout all imported as you see here. It looks almost the same, but you can see layout six, seven, and eight are now uh, my custom layouts. Layout number one is also slightly customized. We're on it right now, so you can see it's the preset layout. But if you look at these switches up here, they now go to DH scenes, which is layout six. And then this goes to DH effects, which is layout seven. There's two pages of effects, uh, but this goes to the first one. So I'll walk through all of these right now and show you uh, kind of how to navigate these presets. So from the preset page, you would select your song or whatever preset you're on. And then typically you'd want to go to scenes, you know, if you're in a song layout or, uh, you know, want to have all those quick changes. So this is my scenes page. And there's a few different things I wanted to have uh, throughout all of my pages. And that is uh, tap tempo and quick access to either effects or presets. And I wanted to have all of my scenes on one page. I didn't want to have to hit another button to page between uh, you know, four sets of scenes. I wanted to have all eight on one page. So this gives you all eight scenes, a tap tempo here. And then if you look at these two buttons right here on the clean, foot switch one and the last foot switch, the ambient, uh, they're a different color. And if you push them down, they will activate those scenes. But if you hold them, for example, this one, it takes you back to the presets page, okay? So if we go back to scenes, if you hold the ambient one, that takes you to the effects one page. So while we're here, here is the drive section, okay? So you have drive, boost, and then a drive lead here for all your gain staging. And that stays the same between both of the effects pages. And then right here, you have four different effect options. Some of these toggles might have secondary functions if you press and hold, but I go over that in my audio demo and walkthrough video. Uh, so go check that out because it varies per all of the presets that I have included uh, with this download. So, and here's a tap tempo that always stays there. And then if you want to go to the second effect page, you hit this. And the only thing that changes are these four switches right here. So you still have access to your gain staging right here. If you're changing mid song and you want to adjust other effects, you can just page between uh, different auxiliary effects right here. Now, when you're in either of the effects layouts, if you want to get back to presets, all you have to do again is push down and hold the drive button. And if you want to go back to scenes, you just push and hold the more button. So let's push and hold this. We're back to presets. Go back to effects. You want to go to scenes, push and hold this button right here. So pushing and holding this button will always take you to scenes. Pushing and holding this button always takes you to presets. So it's pretty straightforward. I'm really happy with this layout and I designed it so that I can build song presets off of this and have the whole song arrangement on one scene page and then push and hold this button and then you can see all of your songs right here. And then if you wanna make effects changes mid song, it's pretty easy and fast to do. Uh, so I'm really happy with the functionality of this layout. I definitely recommend it if you are running these presets. Again, if you're gonna load a custom layout, be sure to export your custom layout uh, right here under edit, export layout or export all layouts. Again, all will export one through eight. 
uh, export layout just exports whatever you're on. So you want to make sure that you back up your layouts before messing with this or restoring to default because um, it will override all of your layouts. So that's pretty much it as far as my custom layout goes. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below and I will try to get to it. So I hope that was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Be sure to head to my store to download this now, as well as all my impulse response packs and a bunch of other stuff. And I'll see you guys next time.